Hey, it's Sean from Milling, but I'm the host for the Big Two. I'm excited to be with you. Today, I just want to share a brief exhortation with you, which is tied to the vine and the branches. We are all born again as Christians, To many are born again, and well, born again is to believe in Jesus Christ, to accept him as your Lord and Savior. We all believe this, and I believe many of us are already, you know, accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. And many that have not, should realize that it's important because that's the beginning of a relationship with God. Because the born again is to the born of God's spirit where you can have a relationship with God. Because the Bible says that when man sins against God and the kind of obedience, they lost a relationship with God. John 6, and Genesis 1, 6, verse 3 says that, uh, just God said that man is not flesh, my spirit is not flesh with him because when they sin, they died, it's your death, and therefore they were disconnected with God. The purpose of why God created mankind was to have a relationship with him, but that relationship was not to of sin, and that was restored back to Jesus Christ. The purpose of Jesus Christ coming was to restore man back to God. But I say, John 3 3 that they say, man is born again, cannot see, cannot have access, because the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit, and I can even design, can even know them, because it looks like foolishness. That's why. We must get born again if we must have a relationship with God. And the Bible says that that it's so very much important that we, we get born again. If not, we can't have that relationship with God. Jesus, God, Jesus said that God is a spirit. He must worship God, must worship in spirit and truth. So when you get born again, we see God's spirit. And then we can have a relationship, relationship with God. We can have a transference of God's character, the nation. God the problem every man it starts from inside. It's from inside you, you think the what of what to do. It's from inside you, you think bad about someone. Inside you, you start to think about what you want to do. And because that inside was lost, mankind was listening to the external things, listening to devils direct them to the nature of sin. But well, this can be corrected by letting us receive the getting born again, receiving that spirit of God, then building on it. And that is why it's important to have a relationship because the relationship is what for it's what lets your inner man start to develop when you get born again. And it's the beginning of that relationship starts through you understanding what to do in your relationship with God. When you, you cannot hear from God, but God wants to lead you, God wants to direct you, all those directions come when you have Time, you spend time talking with God, bringing time, stop means more. God stop to you, truth more, stop to you. When you pray, not when you pray, but ask Him for something, you know. Because prayer not you also as a relation. A, a, a means of communication with God, a time with God. That was most of the time what prayer is about. And we must understand that we must also read the word of God, which, because the word of God is very powerful, and it's really what God's reading, God's reading word to us, which God will use the direction of us. And in fact, I refer to as spiritual food to us. Bible says that man shall not only by very long, but everyone that puts their food for the man of God. So we understand that the word of God is very important. So I don't really want to talk much again, but I want to understand that we must we can't do anything without God. Because God, yeah, Jesus said that in, in John chapter 15, verse 7, I am the true man, and my father is the super man. The husband man is referring to God and Jesus as the vine. But we are the branches. Every branch in me that bear more food, he takes away. Every branch that bear food, he produces it that bring more for more food. Sin will, will not allow mankind to produce food as we should. So that's why God, if you're bringing food and, and there's still impurity in it, God has to prune you, has to remove those things that hinder you from actually living. The way God wants you to live, that what you must understand that sin stop mankind from having a relationship with God. Sin can still stop you from bearing fruit. If I look at the evolution of eight, but I about um, four kinds of acts, and three of them will not produce fruit with God's word. Will fruit have results? They could not produce results because of one, they were not taken serious, two, they, they were sin. In, in this act, and three, because they were they distracted by the cares and the pleasures of this world. But the Bible says in, in uh, Luke chapter 8, verse 15, but they that have good ground are they which in an honest and a good are. Uh, you haven't heard the word, kept it, and bring forth good pleasure. So we understand that 
If you want to be fruitful in God's word, you must be patient because abide in God or stay with God. When you get born again, come and get born again, but they do not stay with God, they don't remain with God, and therefore they do not believe God. You must keep believing in Jesus that He is the foundation of your of your of your life. Now that you're born again, and you must keep obeying him, you must keep that relationship with him. Says, now you are clean to the word which has put you with you. So the word of God is what cleanses you, move those impurities. As those impurities are removed, you are refined like gold. As you move impurity from gold, the gold gets spreader. So that's what you do when you study the word, you are building it, you spend time with God through prayer. You find that the impurity in you is being removed and your character is being refined where you can bear much more fruit. Results, spiritual results will come when sin is being removed. The more sin is being removed from your life. So it says in verse 4, Abide in your life as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Except it abide in the vine, no more can you accept it abide in me. I am the vine, and he are the branches. It abide in me, and I am the same thing for so much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. So without Jesus, we can do nothing. Now we do live as a Christian race. When you are living without Jesus, you see, you know, they can be born again, go to church, but they don't have that relationship with God. That is the most important part. Having that personal relationship with God, that is what we stand about. It's not about our relationship with just the pastor, our relationship with a brother, his brother. Right? No. If the Bible right, says that our relationship with uh, each other should be based on our relationship with God, so that is what he says in First uh, First John, which chapter one. He says this. Verse 5 says, This then is the message which you have heard from the King and declare to you that God is not an in him, in him, so that if we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the Lord Jesus Christ cleanses us from uh, from all sin. In other words, when you say you are born again, you are walking with God. You say you are born again, walking with God. You cannot be sin. If you are living in sin, then your relationship with God is not fully intact. God, in fact, when if you are living in sin, you are afraid to come to God's presence. Except your heart has been snared by sin, you have been hardened that you don't realize that you are only living in sin and that maybe like that. Because they are now to sin, their heart is now you know snared. So they don't know that what they are doing is, is, is actually sin. And no, they have to remorse, no regret, no regret, no, 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 have to say, this thing I must repent for. But you must realize that when it, there's no how you come to God's presence with that kind of heart. And you really want to serve God, you really love God, that when you find out you come to God, those things got to bother you, it comes to wait, wait because it's, it's, Sin, you, you can't really enter and enjoy God's presence. Sin, sin, I told you separately the man from God, and he still is doing it till today, even that in the last of the Christians. So the Bible says that when we truly have a fellowship with God, we will have true fellowship with one another. True fellowship with one another. That is how it is. And that I should be. So I feel like relation with God is very key. But without Him, we cannot do anything. We cannot bear for fruit. We cannot do what He wants us to do. But if God has given an assignment and you do your own strength, you can't do it. You first need His strength. That's why you must abide in Him. So that I say, abide in me. Abide in me is to remain with God, believe in Him, listen to what He's saying, and do what He's saying. If one when there's trials and temptation and trials coming your way, God said that if a, if a man abide not in me, he's cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into fire and they are burnt. So, in other words, if you don't want mankind or wickedness of this world or demonic activities to trouble your flesh and to make you sick, but one way I'm saying it, you need to be more with God. It's not that, you know, that trials and temptation are come. Because lack of knowledge, the trial and temptation are come because of sin, but that also trial and temptation are come because you are walking in the, in the path of righteousness, and the devil knows that you are not in that area, so he's trying to attack you there. But I tell you, the more you are fellowship with God, the distance that will die away. But when Jesus said here that if you are not aligned with Him, you are not abiding, you are not staying with Him, you are caught fault, you are separated from God, God you, you know. You know how a vine is, and how the branches are connected to him. If a vine is bad, it poisons the whole 
other branches and the vine itself. So you, the Bible says that or Jesus is saying here that it better the father prunes, he cuts off that branch that rather than polluting the whole vine. Because that will prevent the vine from sustaining your other branches. So when you're caught up, he said, men, not any not angels, men, people start to trouble you. Well, wonder why it's meant to happen you because your relation to God is not intact. You give room to the devil, give room to mankind to persecute you because your relationship with Jesus is not intact. You're not abiding him. You know, you, 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 by praying to him, but he's telling you to do this, you're not doing it, and then now you're not abiding in him. Abiding in him is to remain with him and do what he tells you to do, and remain, uh, continually do it. But you see, the Bible, when we look at the chapter 8, you see, they were for good for because they were patient, they remained constantly doing it, and we were patiently doing it until they saw that result. So that's what we want to say as Christians. So if all this doesn't make sense, if you're not born again, when you, born, you get born again, that's when you can actually start a relationship with God. If you're not born again, you can be born again today. Because the Bible says that if you confess Jesus with your mouth, after believing in your heart, that He died unto Him for your cross, then you will receive of His Spirit. You receive His, you become a child of God. Because the Bible says, George of the Lord, which says that as many as we say, we give the power of the Son of God to even as to as many as believe in the same. So you can be born again today. So you say this prayer, the Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. Believe you rose again for me. Forgive my sins and come to my life. I confess Jesus as my Lord and my personal Savior. Thank you, Father, for doing this. You said that prayer, I believe you're born again. And I pray for you that you realize that. Being born again is beginning, but you must abide with God by studying His word and praying. Very important part of Christianity, where you can enjoy Christianity to fullness. So, since next time next week, I hope to you know share something again as God leads me. So, God bless you. I think from time. God bless. You.